Hi everyone, so glad you're back. And today, as you can see, I'm wearing my tiny crown. I keep my tiny crown on my desk where I can see it because it reminds me of something that I learned from my grandmother years and years ago. My grandmother lived all alone and she had lots of neighbors who were really very nice people and they all lived alone too. And they did a good job of looking after each other, taking care of each other, checking in on each other. But occasionally, they would all get together and they would let their conversation kind of sink into some gossip. Gossip is just saying unkind things about other people. And then my grandmother would say, oh, friends, friends, I'm listening to our conversation. And you know what? I believe when we got up this morning, we forgot to put our crowns on. That was her way of saying, I think we're not being our best selves right now. Sometimes she would say, you know, I believe I'm going to go home, put my crown on, get all adjusted before I say anything else. Well, usually her friends would agree and they would stop that negative conversation and switch over to positive, helpful things to say. Sometimes we need help using language in ways that are helpful and constructive and upbuilding instead of tearing other people down. If you don't have a tiny crown nearby to remind you, there's some mudra and there's some breathing that can help. I'd like to demonstrate that for you today. The mudra we're going to do today is known as Shanka mudra. And a shank in the Sanskrit language means conch, which is a kind of shell. The ancients used to blow on the conch shell as though it were you know, a horn. And it would send out this beautiful, beautiful sound. And it was said everyone that heard that sound was blessed or healed or lifted up by that sound. So this mudra reminds us that we can engage in speech. It's a beautiful sound that helps and blesses and uplifts people. To do this mudra, you start out with your left hand in front of you. Your thumb is just kind of sticking up. Then you bring your right hand over, curl it around your thumb. And then you curl your left hand around your right hand. This is Shanka. You can hold it right out here in front of you if you want, but I like to hold it right next to my heart. The breathing I like to add to this is 10-10 breathing, inhaling through our nose to the count of 10 and exhaling through our lips to a count of 10. Shall we try it? And And you can do this mudra and this breathing just as frequently as you would like and as many repetitions as you would like. So I hope sometime, whether it's today, tonight, tomorrow, or way in the future, if you're finding yourself giving in to that temptation to use negative speech or hurtful speech, you'll remember this mudra and this breathing, and that will help you keep it positive. Well, friends, the tiny crown and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.